Morning viewers, got a uh, bit of an instructional video for you here. I had this big campfire going last night and um, I just went to bed and, and let it burn. And I got up this morning and the coals were still hot. No flame or anything, just hot coals. Um, you couldn't see them glowing red, I could just feel the heat coming off them. So I chucked a few sticks on them and took about five minutes and it caught fire so that's why whenever you leave a campsite you've got to uh, either pour water all over your campfire or bury it um, in this case here I'm going to bury it because water is uh, quite important to me out here <coughs> so um yeah, that's, that's how a fire can start quite easily. All it takes is a bit of, uh, well you can see there's lots of dry twigs and, and dry grass. All it takes is a bit of a wind and you get something like that. That little clump of dry twigs there blow onto the hot coals. And with the wind as well, that, that'll uh, make the fire start and then that and blow over onto the next little bit of grass and away you go, you've got a bushfire. So always make sure your fire is out completely, either with water or burying it. Um, even if uh, if uh, you, you put it out the, the night before, just in the morning when you're leaving, just uh, make sure she's out. So there's, there's your instructions for today. Uh, I didn't camp near the railway line, as you can probably tell. No railway line around here. What I did was, um, I went and investigated the uh, the airstrip. I crossed over the railway, had a look at the airstrip, and there was a little track down the side. So I went down there, and this is where I ended up. Um, Good little camp spot though. And I'm so glad, I'm about, I'm probably between 500 metres to a K away from the train line. Where I originally was going to camp when I did the last video was right next to the train line. I'm so glad I didn't camp there. I've had four trains go past and I'm telling you they must be about 38 kilometres long each. Actually that's probably a bit long. No, they're quite long. Um, the first one went past uh, just as I was sitting in, at the campfire having a beer last night and um, it was pretty loud and it was long, it went for ages and then I finally went to bed and uh, three in the night went past and they're bloody loud um, you can feel the ground rumbling the, the last one, I actually, I must have been lying there awake because I, I could hear it coming from miles away. And it got, slowly got louder and louder and louder. But uh, yeah, if I had been next to the train line, it would have been like a, a bloody thundering roar. It would have shaken me out of bed. So uh, yeah, I'm glad I didn't camp there. But uh, okay, so today's a new day. Heading up to that track where the caves are on and uh, when I get to the caves or even maybe before if something interesting happens I'll uh, talk to you then. Be good.